God not only, not only named Obama the long-legged Mac Daddy, a deceiver, the son of Satan, but he named Donald Trump, tribulation, Trump. We've never seen anything like this. We've never, never, never seen anything like him. He is a tribulation embodied. And his group and ilk and followers have been exposed for who they are. I, I, you know, a lot of people in the media and trying to figure out why Bill Barr is going to uh, support him and why the Republicans are standing with him and nobody's against him. I saw him down on the border the other day with Marco Rubio in Florida. He called Marco Rubio for a whole year, little Marco. They are worse than little Marco and they're worse than Lion Ted Cruz, I'm telling you. And yet Marco Rubio was standing. I would never stand with a man for any cost or any senatorial seat. You call me out of my name like that. I ain't gonna stand with you. The same thing with Ted Cruz. Said Ted Cruz's wife was ugly and his father was a traitor. And yet Ted Cruz, I've never seen anything like this before. These white people. I never seen anything like that. Call him lying, Ted. You, 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 you can take your seats. Let me say this: if that, if you want to, the media and, and those, if you wanted, to, if you, you know, Don Lemon, Anderson Cooper, Rachel Maydow. I'm a little hesitant about any of them. Adam Schiff, Elijah Cummings, Gerald Nadler. Maxine Waters, Nancy Pelosi, if you want to defeat Trump, start calling him Tribulation Trump. Just don't call him Trump. And don't call him President, because he's not. Media, call him Tribulation Trump. Now, you're probably not going to do that. But that's a weapon I'm giving. This one is for free. Don't cost you nothing. You want to take him down? He's given everybody a name. God's given him one. His name is Tribulation Trump. Stop calling him by the name that God has given to him. And not only that, but he lies like the devil. We've never seen anything like him. But people aren't going to hear me. They're not going to do the things that I said that they should do. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man in the will tell you what God has said whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.